Hi everybody, this is DIY Graphic Design. In this tutorial I'll show you some basic tools and functions in Inkscape. When you open up Inkscape, this is how it looks by default. So the document size here is A4. I'm going to go to File and then New and then from here I could choose different sizes or I could go to document properties and then change the existing size to whatever I want. For now I'm just gonna leave it as is and I'm going to switch from portrait mode to landscape mode. And then when I click up here it will zoom directly and resize my working area to fit the window. Saving the project in Inkscape so I will go to file and then save and I, I can navigate to my desktop I can create a folder and I'm going to rename it test for example and I'm going to leave it as SVG type of file SVG stands for scalable vector graphics and this is a standard type of file that vector graphics applications use and then I'm going to hit save and it will save the file. The tools in Inkscape are on the left side here. My first tool will be the tool to move. So for example, if I create this rectangular shape, I can simply move and resize with the arrow. With magnifying glass, I can zoom in and out. If I hold down shift key, I can zoom out. And then again, if I click up here, the working area will resize to fit my window. Uh, this tool creates 3D shapes. This tool creates round shapes. So if I hold down control key, it will resize it perfectly. This is for star and spiral shape. This is a pencil tool. And this is the ink pen tool. This would be fill bucket and then spray tool. Not very much used. And this will be a race tool. Uh, the next tool will be to create gradients. So for example, if I create a round shape here or oval shape and I apply this gradient tool, it allows me to control my gradient. Up on the top here, I can find additional functions. I can create a new document. I can open an existing one, save one print. I can import bitmap images. Those are photographs. I can redo and un undo. Copy, cut and paste. And then this set of tools is for zooming. I can duplicate with this tool. So for example, if I create a rectangular shape here and I and I click on duplicate it will make two shapes. The next tool is for grouping so for example if I select these two rectangles and click on it it will group them and then if I click on group it will detach it. The next tool is for filling the color of my shapes. So the window comes up here. I can hide my window temporarily by clicking on the little triangle and then it disappears. And then when I click back, it's on. If I want to get rid of it, I'll just click on X sign. And now if I want to change the color of my shape, I can simply select it and go through different colors. If I decide to get rid of color and have a stroke around, the stroke is a line around my object, I can click here, change the color, and I can also change the size of my stroke. This tool would be for controlling my type. So if I type here, hello, I can pick different font.
font and also different style of my font. I can change the size, align spacing and layout. So if I pick a font here, I'll switch this to 72. And then apply. It applies the selection that I made. If I hold down control key and I resize it, it will proportionately resize it. My next function will be layers. The window layers shows up here. I can hide my, my layer, I can lock it. And if I wanted to create a new layer, I'll just simply click on plus sign, add a layer, name it. And now I have this rectangular shape on my layer one and my type on my layer, layer zero. If I wanted to get rid of a layer, I'll just simply select my layer and then click on this minus sign. The next function is for aligning objects. So for example, if I had two objects here, I could align them perfectly by using this tool. So for example, I'm going to select them and then find the appropriate align option. The next tool is for editing global Inkscape settings. So from here I can change my language, uh, snapping for example, how many steps of undo I want and so on. And the last one is like the one under file document properties. So it's a faster way of accessing document properties.